this video we'll show you how to identify and control tropical soda apple. Tropical soda apple is an aggressive prickly shrub that grows 1 to 2 metres high. It invades pastures, riparian areas, as well as cropping land, where it displaces native plants and reduces carrying capacity. Tropical soda apple is spread by stock, as well as feral animals, birds and floods. Tropical soda apple is a multi-branch shrub growing to 2 metres high. It has broad-based, light green to cream-coloured prickles on the stems, upper and lower surfaces of the leaves. Leaves are 10 to 20 centimetres long, with prominent cream-coloured veins and fine hairs on both surfaces. Flowers are white, with five petals, and occur in clusters of three to six flowers. Fruits are 20 to 30 mil in diameter. Immature fruit is green, with a watermelon pattern, gradually maturing to yellow when mature. Each plant can produce an average of 45,000 seeds per year. Tropical soda apple can also be confused with devil's apple. Devil's apple has white flowers with five petals as well, but fruit colour matures to a red. Leaves are a deeper green, and devil's apple has purple coloured veins instead of cream coloured. There are several ways to control tropical soda apple. Individual plants can be removed manually. Remember to remove the entire plant as well as all root fragments. Plant material should be bagged and removed from site and disposed of through deep burial. The cut and paint technique can also be used for tropical soda apple. Cut all stems close to the ground and immediately apply 100% glyphosate to the cut. When applying the herbicide, remember to cover the entire cut and to apply the herbicide immediately. Plants can also be sprayed with fluoxepur. When spraying, remember to cover the entire plant and to spray until the point of runoff. Prior to spraying, all fruit should be removed from the plant. Fruit should be bagged, removed from site and disposed of through deep burial.